Good evening, students. So, good evening, all of you. So, welcome to Anna Academy MSET YouTube channel. So, myself, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, biology educator on Anna Academy platform students. So, under the good evening once again. So, myself, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, so biology educator on Academy platform students. So, you know, my name said. We will be discussing a small topic. So, I can say one of our topic, small topic, discuss the other. The, 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 the name of the topic is an overview of the flowers. So, flower milk and questions. So, fruits milk and questions. We discuss the other. Okay. So, so every day. So, 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 every day. On its YouTube channel, Sana Academy MSET, Sana Academy MSET YouTube channel, my da. My per day, free live classes only. Are maths, gani, physics, gani, chemistry, gani, biology, gani. So, my gani channel subscribe just kunte kachche denga. My gani nte timings, ye timing le class jodi thane me ko information ka students. So, kaabe te nte me oxare channel subscribe just kunte channel subscribe just kunte kachche denga. My timings ani thele sare. So, kena choose the me ko ekada box lo, kena dialog box lo choose kunte me ko kya. सब्सक्रैब् चुस्को बेल बटन तो क्ली सो क्ली सब्सक्रैब दिन वाले मन की टाइम सो एपू मन की टाइम क्लास टाइम अभी मन की पूर्ति काबी फेवरेट एडुकेटर्स क्लास मिसक खा चूडा अवकाश होता है स्टूडेंट्स एव्रीडे प्रोड्यू एव्रीडे फ्री क्लास प्रोवैड्स फ्री क्लास डीटेल डिजाइन अं शेड्यूल को अनाकाडमी प्लस प्लाटा जो दाने पेड अभी पेड सब्सक्रिपन सब्सक्रेबा अभी पेड पेड सब्सक्रेबा दी चास्ट व्यू चेयर की सो दाने अनाकाडमी प्लस सब्सक्रिपन अटो स्टूडेंट अनाकाडमी प्लस सब्सक्रिपन एंटे सो देनिफिट चुदा सारी मैं सो सो वाट द इंपारटेंस आफ अनाडमी प्लस सब्सक्रिपन इज प्रीम कंटेंट विल बी अवेलबल अट अफोर्डबल प्रईस सो स्ट्रक्चर लाइव कोर्स डेडिकेटेड लाइव डिंग से सो मन के स्ट्रक्चर लाइव कोर्स जो शेड्यूल को मन के प्लाटा मेद जो मत टापिक मत सिलबस अभी टापिक कवर् मन की एग्जाम की पर्फेक्ट प्रिपेर आवेडिकेटेड लाइव को स्ट्रक्चर डिजाइन को मन के प्लस प्लाटा जो आलरे मन की आलरे बैचेस को बैचेस जॉन अवच्छे इंट्रस्ट उठे सो ड क्लीन सैशन उ मन की सो एवरी मूड सैशन तरह मूड सैशन तरह नागो सैशन खचित डी सैशन उ सब्सक्रेबा पेड क्लास जॉन अब मूड क्लास तरह फोर्त लैसन अने फोर्त फोर्त लैसन डी पूर्ति डेमी डेर डिस्को आसकसा अवकाश स्टूडेंट सो अभी प्लस इंपारटे ऐक्चुअल डेरिंग अभी खचिंग ऐसा नैक्स्ट क्विजेस मल्टल चाइस क्वेश्चन अमौंटा 2250 rupees meer biology physics chemistry maths ee anni subjects me nerchukodaniki avakasam untadi ee one month trial batch isukunte so kachchanga meeku helpful avutha students so recently oka batch start ayindi so danne man telugu batch anta ee class platform meda so ee telugu batch oka importance entante manaki ikkada chusukunte ikkada top educators unnari top educators andaru kuda manaki classes ee telugu lo teach chestaru man regional language lo teach chestaru kachchanga adi entante meeku baaga helpful avutadi so मन इंतवर मन तस्कटे रीजनल लांग्वेज चानेल अनाडमी ले मंदे चानेल सो एम से चाने अभी खचिता मन तेलो चार मन तेल एडुकेटर्स मन तेलो चार मैं खचिंग हेल्पल अंदर अंत मरी ईजी उ सो मेरे वन मंथ ट्रयल प्लांटे खचिंग ना को यूजी राजेन्द्र लाइव ना को यूजे अभी टू थौज फाइव हंड्रेड रूपी चूपे अभी को वन मंथ ट्रयल प्लेस मेरी को यूज अभी टू थौज टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रूपी कोर्स अभी अवेलबल स्टूडेंट्स सो इतना आलरे इंको बैच रन अभी सैप्टर आलो स्टार्ट दाने मैं कांप्रहेव बैच कांप्रहेव बैच फर् एम से ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इंदो नयी क्लास सर सर फिजिस् अं सर विल टेक कैमिस्ट्री क्लास अन्ट सो बैच कांप्रहेव बैच दीन पर्पस्टे दीन पर्पस्टे कंप्लीट 
సిలబస్ కావాలి సో సిలబస్ మొత్తం కవర్ చేయడం అవకాశం ఉంటుంది టిప్స్ అండ్ ట్రిక్స్ టిప్స్ అండ్ ట్రిక్స్ అని మనకి ఎడ్యుకేటర్స్ ఎప్పటికప్పుడు మనకి ఇస్తూ ఉంటారు టాపిక్ వైజ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ పేపర్స్ కూడా మనకి ప్రొవైడ్ చేస్తారు సో లెక్చరర్స్ సో మనకి అది ఆ టాపిక్ వైజ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ పేపర్స్ ఏంటంటే మన క్లాస్లో లెక్చర్స్ ఏంటంటే డిస్కస్ చేస్తూ ఉంటారు ఇంకా ఫుల్ అండ్ మాక్ టెస్ట్ ఫుల్ అండ్ మాక్ టెస్ట్ కూడా మనకి ప్రొవైడ్ చేస్తారు స్టూడెంట్ సో ఇవన్నీ ఏంటంటే మనకి టూ థౌసండ్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ ఫిఫ్టీ రూపీస్కి మనకి చాలా ఈజీగా అవైలబుల్ ఉంటుంది సో మీరు ఇంట్రెస్ట్ అయితే ఖచ్చితంగా నా కోడ్ యూస్ చేసి మీరు ఏంటంటే ఆ వన్ మంత్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ ప్లాన్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు సో ఇవి కాకుండా లాంగ్ టర్మ్ ప్లాన్స్ లాంగ్ టర్మ్ ప్లాన్స్ ఉన్నాయి సిక్స్ మంత్స్ ప్లాన్ అండ్ ట్వెల్వ్ మంత్స్ ప్లాన్ సో చాలా తక్కువ అమౌంట్ స్టూడెంట్స్ సిక్స్ మంత్స్కి అయితే ఇది టెన్ థౌసండ్ వన్ హండ్రెడ్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ రూపీస్ చాలా తక్కువ అమౌంట్ మీరు బయట ఏదైనా కార్పొరేట్ సంస్థల్లో కానీ మీరు కోచింగ్ తీసుకోవాలనుకుంటే లక్షల్లో ఖర్చు పెట్టాల్సి ఉంటుంది ఆరు నెలల కేవలం పది పది వేల రూపాయలు అంటే చాలా చాలా తక్కువ ఇది అది కూడా మీరు అనకాడమీ వాళ్ళు బెస్ట్ లెక్చర్స్తో మీకు తక్కువ గిప్పిస్తున్నారు అదే మీరు అనకాడమీ నీ ప్లాట్ఫామ్కి వెళ్తే సో ఆరు నెలలకి మీకు చాలా ఎక్కువ ప్రైజ్ ఉంటుంది చాలా తక్కువ ప్రైజ్ ఇక్కడ కానీ మీరు బెనిఫిట్ యూటిలైజ్ చేసుకోవాలి సో చూసుకోండి సో సిక్స్ మంత్స్ లాంగ్ టర్మ్ ప్లాన్ తీసుకోండి అదైతే మీకు టెన్ థౌసండ్ వస్తుంది రాజేంద్ర లైవ్ నా కోడ్ యూస్ చేస్తే ఖచ్చితంగా మీకు టెన్ థౌసండ్ వన్ హండ్రెడ్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ రూపీస్ వస్తుంది స్టూడెంట్స్ అదే విధంగా ట్వెల్వ్ మంత్స్ ప్లాన్ తీసుకుంటే ట్వెల్వ్ థౌసండ్ త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ రూపీస్ వస్తుంది సో రాజేంద్ర లైవ్ అనే మీ కోడ్ యూస్ చేస్తే ఖచ్చితంగా మీకు అవైలబుల్ ఉంటుంది స్టూడెంట్స్ సో అది అనకాడ్ మీ యొక్క ప్లస్ సబ్స్క్రిప్షన్ గురించి సో మన టాపిక్లోకి వెళ్దాం ఈరోజు టాపిక్లోకి ఒకసారి డిస్కస్ చేసి ఈ టాపిక్లోకి వెళ్దాం సో ఈరోజు మనం కొన్ని క్వశ్చన్స్ డిస్కస్ చేద్దాం ఫ్లవర్ అండ్ ఫ్రూట్ అండ్ టాపిక్ మీద కొన్ని క్వశ్చన్స్ మనం డిస్కస్ చేసి దాని యొక్క త్రీ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ కూడా మనం డిస్కస్ చేయడానికి ఛాన్స్ స్టూడెంట్ చూడండి ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ చూడండి సో సెలెక్ట్ ది ఇన్ కరెక్ట్ మ్యాచింగ్ సో ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ చూసుకుంటే సెలెక్ట్ ది ఇన్ కరెక్ట్ మ్యాచింగ్ సో క్వశ్చన్ ఇది ఆస్కొని ఐడెంటిఫై ఇవి ఉన్న ఆప్షన్స్ లో మనకి ఏంటి కరెక్ట్ మ్యాచింగ్ అని ఐడెంటిఫై చేయమన్నారు సో చూడండి సో యాక్టివ్ మార్ఫిక్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ టెలింగ్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈస్ ఆస్కింగ్ అబౌట్ సిమెంట్రీ సో దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ సిమెంట్రీ సో యాక్ట్ నో మార్ఫిక్ సిమెంట్రీ ఓకే సో యాక్ట్ నో మార్ఫిక్ దానికి ఏం చెప్తున్నాడు సో వెన్ ఫ్లవర్ క్యాన్ బి డివైడెడ్ వెన్ ఫ్లవర్ క్యాన్ బి డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టు టూ ఈక్వల్ హాఫ్స్ టూ ఈక్వల్ రేడియల్ హాఫ్స్ ఇన్ ఎనీ రేడియల్ ప్లేన్ పాసింగ్ త్రూ సెంటర్ సో యాక్టో మార్ఫిక్ సో ఫ్లవర్ ఎలా ఉందనుకోండి సో అది ఏ డివిజన్ లో మనం కట్ చేసినా ఇట్ విల్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ టూ ఈక్వల్ హాఫ్స్ సచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సిమెంట్ ఇస్ కాల్ ఎన్ యాక్టో మార్ఫిక్ ఓకే సో సచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సిమెంట్ ఇస్ కాల్ ఎన్ యాక్టో మార్ఫిక్ సో నో డౌట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద రైట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ సో స్టేట్మెంట్ ఏ తీసుకుంటే రైట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ సో సో నెక్స్ట్ బీ చూద్దాం జైగోమార్ఫిక్ సో వెన్ ఫ్లవర్ ఈస్ డివైడ్ టూ సిమిలర్ హాఫ్స్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ వన్ పర్టికులర్ ప్లేన్ సో మనకి ఫ్లవర్ తీసుకుంటే అది కట్ చేసాం అనుకోండి సో ఫ్లవర్ ని మనం కట్ చేస్తే అది ఏంటంటే టూ ఈక్వల్ హాఫ్స్ మాత్రమే ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేస్తారు సో ఇలా ఇలా కట్ చేస్తే ఈ రెండు మాత్రం ఈక్వల్ హాఫ్స్ ఈ రెండు మాత్రం ఈక్వల్ హాఫ్స్ ఉంటాయి అనమాట సచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సచ్ టైప్ ఈస్ కాలేజ్ జై జైగోమార్ఫిక్ సో దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్స్ ఎ రైట్ సో స్టేట్మెంట్ ఏ కానీ సో స్టేట్మెంట్ ఈ బోత్ ఆర్ రైట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ దెన్ స్టేట్మెంట్ సి చూద్దాం సిమెట్రిక్ సో వెన్ ఫ్లవర్ కెనాట్ బి సో ఫ్లవర్ కెనాట్ బి డివైడ్ ఇన్ టూ టూ సిమ్లర్ హాఫ్స్ ఇన్ ఎనీ వెర్టికల్ ప్లేన్ సచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లవర్ ఇస్ కాల్ ఎస్ఏమెట్రిక్ సో దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో రైట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ సో టూ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఏ స్టేట్మెంట్ బి అండ్ ఆర్ ఆప్షన్ ఏ ఆప్షన్ బి ఆప్షన్ సి సో దీస్ త్రీ ఆల్ ఆర్ కరెక్ట్ సో బేస్డ్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దట్ విల్ టేక్ ది ఆప్షన్ యాజ్ ఆప్షన్ డి సో దిస్ విల్ బి అవర్ కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఆప్షన్ డి ఈస్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ సో ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ ఆల్ దీ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ ఆర్ కరెక్ట్ స్టూడెంట్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ తీసుకుంటే మనకి సిమెంట్రీ గురించి డిస్కస్ చేసాం సో త్రీ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ సిమెంట్ ఉంది యాక్టోమార్ఫిక్ జైగోమార్ఫిక్ ఓకే సో అదే విధంగా ఏ సిమెంట్రీ సో ఫ్లవర్ని ఏ విధంగా కట్ చేసినా ఇట్ ఓన్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ఇన్ ఈక్వల్ హాఫ్స్ దాని మనం ఏ సిమెంట్రీ కానీ చెప్తాం మనం ఓకే సో లెట్ ఇస్ గో టు నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ లెట్ ఇస్ మూవ్ టు నెక్స్ట్
epigynous and perigynous. So this particular three explaining about the position. So these are explaining about the position. So position they are explaining about the position actually position of. So actually they are explaining about position. Position of ovary. So position of ovary in a flower. So position of ovary in a flower. So there is a three types like hypogynous, epigynous, and perigynous. Let us see what is hypogynous. So hypogynous in hypogynous, what happens is gynecium occupies the highest position. So hypogynous means it is gynecium is occupying the highest position. So so this is the right statement. So gynecium occupies the highest position. And if you see the examples, examples includes so hypogynous best examples are mustard and brinjal and chain arrows. So hibiscus chain arrows are also called that one hibiscus on top. So it is a mandar poli. So this is the right one. So statement here this kunta option here this kunta correct is a hypogynous. So gynecium occupies the highest position means below the gynecium. So the position if you see the position. So we have in gynecium in hypogynous gynecium is occupying the primary position. Below gynecium we have other floral organs like andrisium and you have corolla and calyx. So this is the order in case of hypogynous ovary. So gynecium, andrisium. Corolla and calyx. So gynecium occupies the highest position. Gynecium occupies the highest position in the particular flower. And best example of hypogynous is mustard, brinjal, china rose. So this statement is a correct statement. Now let us see the statement two. Epigynous. So let us see. Let us see whether it is matching or not. So gynecium is situated at the center. So in epigynous, if you see in case of epigynous, so certainly it is also right statement. Gynecium is located at the center. And it is surrounded. It is surrounded like a. So it is surrounded like a rim actually. So usually surrounded by calyx. So it will be surrounded by calyx, corolla, or andrisium. So it will be surrounded by calyx, corolla, or andrisium. So this can be calyx or corolla or andrisium. So that is also right statement. The best example is plum, peach, and rose. So these are the best examples. So gynecium will be exactly located at the center, and other three. Corals. Actually, every flower has four corals: andrisium, gynecium. So we already know that. So every four, every flower has four corals: calyx, corolla, andrisium, and gynecium. See, so epigynous. What happens is in this epigynous. So certainly gynecium. So position of ovary. It is gynecium is exactly at this center, and it is surrounded by. It is surrounded by. Okay. Or it is surrounded by andrisium. Um, uh, it is. Arranged as other 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 three corals are arranged in rim-like structure. Okay, so like calyx, corolla, and so they are arranged in rim-like structure. In this way, which I have shown in this particular diagram here. So and the examples are plum, peach, and rose. So these are the right examples. So so that is also right. Then next third one you see perigynous. So perigynous. So margin of thalamus grows upward and closing over completely. So this is also a right statement. So it is found in Goa, cucumber, ray florets of sunflower. So this is also a right statement. So all this. So one is A X. So two B Y and C. So option A will be our answer. Based on this option A will be our answer. Next. So let us move next question. Select the correct matching. So gamosepals. So gamosepals. In this case, when sepals, when all sepals, what is gamosepals? When all sepals are fused. When sepals are fused. When sepals. When sepals are in a fused state. When sepals are in a fused state. Such type of condition is called as a fused state. Such condition is called as a gamosepals. In this case, what happened? Polysepals. So polysepals means sepals are sepals are free. So sepals are freely arranged. So freely arranged, they are not fused. So such condition is called polysepals. Then go on. The gamopetals. So petals are united or petals are fused. So gamopetals condition. Gamopetals condition means the same thing. It is telling about petals are fused. Petals are fused. Such condition is called as a gamopetals. So gamosepals. Sepals are united. Gamopetals. Petals are united. Poly sepals, sepals are freely arranged. So finally, all of this will be our answer. Option D will be taken as our answer. Next question, students. 
so let us move to the next question So if you see the mode of arrangement, so the mode of arrangement of sepals, the mode of arrangement of sepals or petals, mode of arrangement of sepals or petals in the floral bud with respect to the other members of same whorls. So the mode of arrangement of sepals and petals with respect to arrangement of other members of the same whorl, such process is called as a estuation. So such process is called as a estuation. So there are different types of estuation. So, valvet distribution, twisted distribution, intricate distribution, and vascular vexillary distribution. So, there are different types, and we will we'll be seeing in one of the diagram. So, that is the answer. So, distribution is our answer. Next, sepals and petals in a whorl just touch each other. So, sepals and petals in a whorl they just keep touching one another at the margin without any overlap. So, such type of distribution. If you see such type of distribution, is called as a valvet situation so such type of situation is called as a valvet situation actually so valvet situation is generally observed so here what happens here is sepals or petals are present so in a flower we have sepals or petals they are arranged side by side so this is one sepal or petal what are maybe so they are arranged side by side they are not touching each other they are not touching each other so just if they touch also just they touch so they are arranged side by side so such type of situation is called as a valvet situation. So valvet situation is a character feature of the member of plant. The name of the plant is called as a calotrope. So calotrope is exhibits valvet situation. So that is a answer. So option D will be our answer, students. So option D. So will be the answer. So calotrope is our answer in this case. Next one. So let us see the next one. So next one is called as a twisted situation. Twisted situation is found in all. So twisted situation is also found in all. So, so what is this twisted situation? See if you see, twisted situation is found in cotton, china rose, lady finger, but it is not found in gulmohar. So, Koshtu was asking found in all except. So except means in gulmohar the twisted situation is not found in case of the gulmohar. Okay. So now this can nobody. This will be our answer according to the given question. So. There are some examples before that. Let us see what is this different types of estuation. So it is shown here. So different types of estuation. So the arrangement of sepals or petals. Okay. So if you see, this is a estuation. Estuation first one in that valvet estuation. If you see valvet estuation, you can see. So petals or sepals. They are arranged side by side but they are not touching if they, they are also not touching so margins are not touching or slightly touching such type of situation is called as valve then you see second one twisted so twisted situation you see the ends the ends of the sepal is inside and other and this one you see one of the ends of the sepal are petal is towards inner side and other end is towards the outside again one towards the inner side and other towards the outside so one towards the inner side and other towards the outside such type of situation is called as a twisted situation then if you see third one that is called imbricate situation in imbricate situation if you see clearly the petal or sepal so this one is completely inside and you can also see this is completely outside now this one is completely outside and this one is completely inside so rest are so rest other three they are partially inside, they are partially inside, they are partially inside, you can see they are partially inside and partially outside, so here it is It is outside, here also it is outside. So such type of situation is called as imbricate situation, in case of imbricate situation, out of the five sepals or petals, so one of the petals is totally outside, other petal is totally inside and whereas others are partially inside and partially outside, such type of situation is called as in brigade situation. Now you see the last one that is called as a vexillar situation. So in vexillar situation, you have five patterns. So this is a character feature. So vexillar situation is a character feature of Fabaceae members. It is a character feature of Fabaceae members, or it is also called Papillinaceae. 
So Fabaceae has other name, it is called Papillinaceae. So out of these five petals, you see this one, this one is called as a standard petal. It is called as a standard petal. So it is large, it is large, it is a large petal actually, it is a very large, you can see. So it is a standard petal. Then this one, this one and this one. So these two are the lateral petals. These are called as a lateral petals. And these are lateral petals are also called as a these are called as a wing petals. So these are called as a wing petals. Then you see the two small anterior petals. These are small anterior petals. These are small anterior petals. These are called as a keel. So these are called as a keel. So these two small anterior petals, these are called as key and these are attached. These are attached. These are fused. In fact, we should call it as a fused action. So like this. So these are the four different types of the estuation. So valvate twisted. So valvate twisted invariant and vexillary estuation. So vexillary estuation is a character feature of ABC members or it is also called as a papillin AC members. It is also a character feature of the papillin AC members. So let us now go, let us get back to our questions actually. So let us see some examples of this situation. So situation, so valvet situation, so valvet situation. So select the correct matching. Question was asking to identify the correct matching. So so we have seen the correct matching. So valvet situation is not seen in cassia, so this is wrong. Then twisted situation. So it is found in chain of lady finger, but calotropis is there. This is also wrong. Then if you see Imbricate distribution. Imbricate distribution is seen in Cassia and Golma heart. This is correct. So, vaccillary distribution is found in P and B, but it is not found in aloe and tulip. So, these two are not showing vaccillary distribution. So, finally, our answer. So, option C will be our answer according to the given question students. So, let us move next one. Next. The arrangement of ovules. So, arrangement of ovules within an ovary. So, arrangement of ovules within an ovary, so arrangement of ovules within an ovary, such type of condition is known as placentation, so arrangement of ovules within an ovary, such condition is called as a placentation. So different types of placentation is there, so you can see here this is a marginal placentation, now this is called as a axial placentation, so this is marginal, this type of placentation is called as marginal, this is called as a axial, axial placentation. Parietal placentation, now this is called as a parietal placentation, or uh, this is called as a free central, free central placentation. Okay, so this one is called as a free central placentation. Then, and so like that. So finally, we have one more that we have one more that is called as a so basal placentation. So let us see the examples in the given question actually. So marginal placentation so marginal placentation best example so in pea plant marginal placentation can be seen so that is the right statement then you see the parietal placentation so parietal placentation is also found in mustard and argimo that is also right statement then axial axial placentation so axial placentation character feature is a character feature of china rose tomato and lemon so that is a character feature then free central placentation is a category of dianthus and primrose. So basal placentation is a observed in sunflower and marigold. So based on that, we have to identify the answer. So if we check the answer, it will be option A will be our answer, students. So marginal placentation is seen in the members of pea plant. Parental placentation in case of the members of mustard and argimo. So axial placentation in case of chain rose, tomato and lemon. Similarly, Pre and central placentation in dianthus and primrose, so basal in case of sunflower and marigold. So these are the diagrams, so which you can see here. So here, carpels are exactly present at the center. So this is one locule, this is another locule, this is another locule. So it is showing the trilocular, and two carpels are shown. It is bicarpillary. The three carpels are shown in the diagram is tricarpillary. Now here you see. The ovules are arranged on the inner margin actually. The ovules are arranged on the inner margin. That's why it is called as a parietal placentation actually. Okay, ovules are attached on the margin. So margin. Okay. So 
so next so fruit now let's see about fruit so what is a fruit so after fertilization so ovary develops into fruit so that is what it is written here resultant ripe and ovary so ovary after fertilization leads to fruit so this is a right statement then farmer generally after fertilization certainly the fruit is formed after fertilization that is also true next the cattle feature of the flowering plant so fruit is a cattle feature of the flowering plant because flowering plant flowers and it undergoes uh, reproduction and it produces the fruit so that is a right statement so finally all of this will be our answer next so you can see this fruits so this is the best example showing mango fruit and this is a coconut fruit so this is a coconut fruit so you can see that so the outer part the outer part is called as apical this juicy part this is a um, in the juicy part that is called as a mesocarp in case of the mango and this one hard this is called as endocarp and inside you have the seed if you see in case of coconut see in coconut you can see seed this part is seed and you also have a mesocarp so this fibrous part is mesocarp and the stony endocarp it is having the endocarp but it is very stony endocarp so fibrous mesocarp in case of coconut mesocarp is fibrous and endocarp is stony so seed seed is also present next so what is the name of pericarp which is thick and fleshy so pericarp actually pericarp is classified into three part peri peri means outer covering so pericarp is class it is of three types apicarp it includes apicarp mesocarp and endocarp so based on that we'll take all of these as answer so pericarp includes apicarp mesocarp and endocarp all together is a pericarp so finally our answer is all of these then in which fruit mesocarp is fibrous so just now we discuss the mesocarp is fibrous in case of coconut in coconut mesocarp is fibrous in case of mango so in case of mango it is juicy in nature okay in case of the mango it is juicy in nature whereas in case of coconut it is mesocarp is fibrous fibrous mesocarp okay juicy or it is fleshy in nature so it is fibrous in case of the coconut so based on that our answer so option b will be our answer so next we see which is the edible part of the mango this is the edible part certainly just now we discussing mango has thin apical fleshy mesocarp so fleshy mesocarp is the edible part so edible part means which will be the the part which is consumed which is consumed by humans the part which is consumed by humans is the edible part so edible part is a fleshy mesocarp so fleshy mesocarp is a edible part then in coconut and mango the type of fruit so type of fruit is called as a drupe the type of fruit which includes the uh, which includes the both coconut and mango that is a drupe so drupe is the type of the fruit which includes coconut and as well as mango so type of the drupe is a fruit then next question the fruit a fruit is developed without fertilization so fruit is also formed without fertilization so fruit that is formed without fertilization of ovary so without fertilization of ovary also some fruits are formed and those type of fruits without fertilization without fertilization those are those are seedless fruits actually these are seedless fruits nowadays there are several seedless fruit varieties of grapes watermelon we can see in the market the hybrid varieties water watermelon grapes some citrus fruits citrus fruits also there are also the seedless fruit so the such type of fruits are called as a parthenocarpic fruit so fruits developed without fertilization of the ovary such type of fruits are called as a parthenocarpic fruits and what is importance of this parthenocarpic fruits is they are seedless fruits best example is grapes watermelon and citrus fruits which are available in the market then so let us see the position of ovary in case of the mango so mango so mango is a no doubt we were discussing the same thing mango is a superior ovary so it is having one carpel so it is having only one carpel only one dimension one carpel so is monocarpel is superior ovary so that is the answer so mango is developed from monocarpular and superior ovary so that is end of our mcq discussion students so before closing the session so once again i would like to introduce about our an academy about our an academy plus subscription students so certain an academy is providing free classes students apart from free classes an academy is also providing the best 
best uh, resources on its plus platform students so that is called an academy plus subscription so it very very less amount of students an academy and set plus subscription fee seems to be very very less amount of students certainly use this chance uh, to grab the opportunity to learn with the top educators at very low low cost students okay so it is having long term plans the long term plans includes like 6 months plan of costing so very less actually the 6 months plan it is costing about 10125 rupees and 12 months plan is costing 12375 rupees so these are very very least amount of students i suggest to when you compare with corporate sector colleges they are very very less amount and if we have more than 20 educators certainly it will be helpful for the students so i suggest you to take the an academy plus subscription so if you are interested you can use my code rajendra live to get the 6 months plan for 10125 rupees at the same time the 12 months plan for 12375 rupees then what is importance of this plus subscription so what is importance of this plus subscription is certainly so premium content will be available at affordable price so structured live courses and dedicated live doubtless session so this will be provided then quizzes at regular intervals batches were complete the syllabus preparation every day so tests the tests also multiple choice questions also will be discussed by educator full and mock tests will be conducted so this all you can get for a very single subscription students of 6 months plan for 10125 rupees and 12 months plan for 12375 rupees students so so i suggest you to take the anagadi plus subscription certainly will be helpful for the students so thank you